All right, so the United 2M3. This is a car that I've had for about three years now, and it's changed a lot, right? I've had a lot of different looks with this thing, and right now, something that I've never done to this car since I've had it, besides the one time, is buy new wheels. They've always just been powder coated different colors. New wheels are here. Um, I'm gonna go get these put on. Probably be tomorrow that we get this thing on the ground and see it, but same video for you guys. Just takes a little time, like all the logistics of taking wheels down, getting put on, swapping, putting them back on, putting, dropping them to the ground, taking the jack stands out, all that. To me, wheels are like shoes, right? And if you don't have, if you're wearing the same shoes, they're getting a little old, they're getting a little crusty, like you don't wanna keep wearing those shoes. You wanna get a new set, clean it up, clean out, you know, clean up the outfit and, uh, that's what wheels do for me. That being said, right now, I don't know, should we check out your car right now? <laughs> you see it? Yeah. yeah, we can check it out, let's get it. So Ryan sends me a text the other day and he ends up hitting something on the freeway. But he sent me a couple pictures and I was like, all right, I think we can fix that. Looking at the paint, it doesn't look like it's scratched through. Or it doesn't look like it's gone past the clear coat. It's kind of hard to Oh yeah, yeah, so. And see what I mean about the body line? Like, I can't tell if this is a dent. Like, there's some serious, like, paint stuff going on. But that's all, yeah. that's all your... That looks like you come off. What happened the week before? Dude, I've been on one. Got sung by Stingray. <laughs> you you had I, to buy new tires recently? Well, my dumb ass, that's my own fault. Oh, I, that okay. was like, dude, I wish I should have taken a picture. It was like, nobody should have been driving on those. But they popped in the same day, two tires. I rolled my ankle that night. <laughs> Potentially broke my pinky. Dude. And then yesterday was Tuesday? Yeah. So Monday I was like, all right, cool. It's a new week. I'm going to be all right. Tuesday comes around. I'm getting on the freeway and this lady's going like 30. So I'm looking over my shoulder, kind of like dip out of the on, on ramp and just like get around her. Yeah. And as I turn back, she's yanking the wheel and like there's like, I don't know if it was an ottoman or a couch or uh, what it was. Okay. But like as I'm looking back, I also yanked it. But I mean, dude, I'm, so yeah. I hit it and then. It took me a second to realize like I hit something quite large. And I was like, was that like a dog or something? It didn't look like a dog. I was oh, really hoping it wasn't an animal. Jeez. That's how my last three weeks have been going. With his car, I'm just gonna see if we can use just a charcoal pad and car pro essence. Basically, it's a really non-abrasive setup. Like you would use this to just kind of get out, you know, light swirls or stuff like that. This isn't gonna get out the deep stuff. This is only gonna get out all the surface level stuff. But I'm gonna try that real quick, see if that works. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to take out all this right here. So I think you guys can see all the right here. If I move, let's see. Oh, there you go, right there. See, so there's all these scuffs. Get those all out right now. Oh, came over no. here and you bothered me and then like then I have to stop what I'm doing and talk to you about stuff. Well guess what? It's done. You already fixed it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, does it look good? Yeah, check it out. Oh <laughs> Told you dude, it was just pure paint. That's crazy. Charcoal pad, car presence, took out all that paint or whatever it was that actually was on the car and it's cleaned up. Now there's some little stuff there. But there's only so much you can do when it comes to this. You have to kind of pick and choose your battles of like, hey, if I go super deep, I can, oh man, this sentence is not sounding right, is it? If I, if I dig deeper into that, yeah. then there's a potential I rip open a crack, and then your paint's peeling. It still looks a million times better than it did. It looks completely different. <laughs> Thanks, homie. All right, there we go. So. I just went with some Arc 8s, um, and I say just because those are already Apex EC7s, these are Arc 8s, and they're very similar. I mean, they're pretty much the same wheel, except, whew, that was a B, I think, except they convex instead of concave. So instead of this spoke going out like this, it goes in, and I think it's a cool look for the United 2. Initially, I was like, are these wheels actually look that different? And, uh, you know, I kind of had my, you know, my concerns, my, my, my reservations about them, but 
I think this style just works on the three, you know, the three series of, or just E92, the E90, all that stuff of this era. And uh, it's a clean wheel. They're not super expensive. The offsets are good. This is what I actually wanted when I put the car back to space gray, away from the Nozotec red. I wanted them to have, like, I wanted them to have a shine that was different than the paint color. Because I think one problem when you have a silver car, space gray, whatever you want to call this car, I just feel like when it's the same, it's going to look, unless it's a black car, right? If it's a black car, cool, black on black looks good. Take a second, show you guys these lug nuts. I really like these lug nuts. These are R40 Iconics. And the cool part about them is, I don't know how they're coated. I don't know if it's a hardened steel and it's anodized, powder coated, what it is. The cool part is I've taken these off a lot and there's minor scuff marks on it, but it's not like a lot of the other lug nuts that I've used. It's pretty cool because this spins too, so this isn't scratching the wheel. They're not cheap, but it's a cool little touch when you're looking at your wheel setup. I've told you guys time and time again, I love the little things. I got a door dash for, for Bree and some Damn, dude, that's how you do me though? I just fixed your car, bro. Damn. I just fixed your stomach. It's not hungry anymore. Check out these wheels. <laughs> Ooh. What, what's your thoughts? Fire. Yeah, they look real nice. So this is Hyper Silver. Um, we got a nine and a half and a 10 and a half wheel. Uh, both plus 22 up front, plus 22 in the rear. But the rear, I am running a five millimeter spacer and I don't know that I would recommend that. It looks good and I kind of like the, the rear filled out a little bit, but you can do without it. I mean, it's five millimeters. The Super currently has the white T37s on it and I love the look, but they get dirty literally within a couple days. That's probably the worst part about this car right here. <laughs> it's like BMW, dude. They just said, nope. All right, so here's the T's after like three, four days. Um, they get dirty quick, but this is so satisfying. Look at this. Because of the way the T37s are, you know, having that lip and having the, the base of the spoke go in, they sit, the face sits out a little farther. So the, the brake pad dust doesn't actually come on the front of the wheel, it comes on the outside. Like, so you'll, it'll be sitting on the lip, but that keeps it still a little bit cleaner. Too many pods. Damn. I didn't know it was like that back there. So it's cool though, cause uh, that's way too many pops. But uh, on my uh, Ecutech tune, I can adjust the verbal adjustment. So I just literally have a slider on my phone, slide it, adjust that. Cause it is, I don't like driving around like this too much. So one of my favorite things to do, and I showed you guys recently with one of my last videos is take photos of my car. I think. I've always loved taking photos and shooting videos, hence why we're doing this right now. I'm really liking the look of the new wheels right now. It looks, especially the sun glaring off. I just dressed the tires because otherwise someone on Instagram will tell me that I need to dress the tires. So tires are dressed, start snapping. It's sitting pretty good. Right, I'm just gonna fix this seat right here so it matches. It's bugging me that I could they were kind of way uneven. Oh, that's cool. Now you can see the Fox Red seat fucking through. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's get a wheel shot. So someone in the comments in the last video, you guys mentioned my uh, rotors are backwards. And yeah, I know. I've been going back and forth looking at them. I had a shop install and they just, uh, they put them like that and I didn't realize it at the time. I had never had uh, slotted rotors, but yeah, I can tell they're backwards. So at some point I'll switch them for now. I'm lazy. <laughs> a car to take photos of is cool because it's something that's not gonna complain that you're taking photos of it, right? Like no one's, like my car's not gonna get tired of me taking photos. 
And so I can position anywhere I want. I can, I can try to like, you know, manipulate lighting. And it's something that has been a big part of like my Instagram is showing the, the, these car photos. Um, something I kind of want to take you guys along the journey a little bit more of and show you how I'm like, how I'm getting these photos, what I'm doing with it. And uh, maybe, you know, for the people that are interested in photography, maybe you'll learn something or maybe you won't. But it's just something I love to do. All right, so I think this is gonna be my favorite shot right here. We got the sun in the back, so it's backlit. Um, for this, basically, I'm kind of overexposing the sky. Cause I mean, it is, honestly, to my eyes, I can't see any blue on the sky. So I'm gonna snap this photo right here. Yeah. These wheels are bright enough too, that they look, they like, they pop off the background even when it's backlit like this. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button for me. If you got something to say, leave me a comment. I'm pretty stoked on how the United T turned out for now. We'll see how long it stays like this. If it changes, I don't know. But anyways guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.